Proctor Ingram. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. The device doesn't work from over there. You have to be on the platform. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking, but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please. Step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific 
very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son, to Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity, it's good to finally meet you. I am. Uh-huh. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? And... <laughs> it... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking to you, that would certainly seem true. Uh -huh. At that time, the year scientific, so they followed the best exact. Right. Human synths? Human like. The Institute, plenty of that, even in the. Uh -huh. But then the. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human like synth. Mm -hmm. I am their father. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. I know you must have questions. Mm-hmm. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. The Institute. Uh-huh. But... director? I was the most qualified. I've lived my life within... Ultimately, the... Just... Uh -huh. What else can I... Uh-huh. Your mother... She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral... Collateral damage? I forget that it's been such a short... I don't have it. Has it always been easy? 
For many years, I never question. With old age come, but what else can I... Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. He was a murderer. He killed your mother. Believe me, I am well aware of the atrocities Kellogg committed. I suspect there are many more we'll never know of. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty be... I won't lie. I know there's more for... The Institute is on the verge. I've been a part, and now... Yes, that's... I know. Uh-huh. Forgive me. There is much... I'll do whatever it takes. I am glad. The Institute... You want to introduce yourself. And finally, Dr. Lee in it. Drive servo. That's hi, Doc. Oh, they weren't kidding. I don't know. You really are. Most here. of them have lasted well, long right. past their projected lifespans. I'm Ali. If you ask me, you can think of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him. I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. Uh -huh. We maintain and upgrade. Uh -huh. There's a lot of machinery behind the work we do, so... Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off. Take your time. If there's anything else... Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. A have full capacity. We're all looking forward to working with you. To knock some heads together. Hey. What I hear we're about They're to get a new food supplement. Power armor is sturdy enough, but it limits your mobility. <clears throat> that armor should serve you well in a firefight. Between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. If you see any suspicious synth activity, report it immediately. Like any machine, a synth can Duh. malfunction. So, just wish it didn't happen. Here so you often. are, just an AO, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery... 
I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated Institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask Robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. You mentioned that Coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those... Uh-huh. Identity. Clearance confirmed. Hey there. Reporting status. All functions normal. I've been reviewing fine. Excuse me, I Doctor. How the Welcome. Is doing. So good to have you here. Well, he Dr. Clayton Holdren, by now. head of the bioscience sure, division. That any child I can't can wait for you to sure. so long up there, don't you think? I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the bioscience divisions, our most important directive is to ensure the health and well. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food. We've even started. You probably. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work, and uh -huh. I'm sure I've taken... I'm not sure how well I'll fit in. Great. In any case... Uh-huh. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. She's been at it for over two hours. What does she even do? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Authorized to be where? You're standing in the advanced systems division. If you want a tour of the place, why don't you ask? Now, can I get back to work? Easy. I just want to... About what? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? The only problem is the lack of transparency. 
I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? You should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there... dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability- Sure. Thank you. I'm sure- Given that the relay is the only- In case the significance is lost, if nothing else. Speaking of, I trust- Right. Sean, now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never... I'm glad you... Ultimately, unfortunately, uh -huh. as remarkable as us, the superior... If the Synths are intelligent and self... However closely, when you see a rogue, his memories have been erased mm -hmm. under his leadership. I've dispatched... Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cause.